So, uh, why did you back off Barr? I didn't back off. Cruz, every story I do does not have to be a hard-hitting piece of journalism. This was fluff. This was fluff? This was a cover story. Look, I'd really like to help you. But if I'm out on the 6 o'clock to New York, my editor's gonna have my head. Uh, Ray, wait, wait, wait a second. Um... Brother, I need this. What good's it gonna do you? Well, that remains to be seen. Why are you so interested in Barr, anyway? I have my reasons, and, uh... I think they're good ones, yeah. All right. I started digging into Barr's past. I found a gray area about five years ago. It was right before he charged onto the business scene and started raiding companies. I started making a few phone calls. I guess Barr got wind of it. And so Barr himself got you to lay off? I don't know for sure who did what. My editor got a call from the publisher himself. The message was loud and clear. The publisher even cleared the final article. I backed off. Maybe I'm getting soft, but I wasn't willing to risk my job. And that's it? Well, before I got the call, I managed to find out a few interesting rumors about Mr. Barr, but nothing you could put in print. Uh -huh. And what were they, if I might ask? Word has it that his financial backing comes from Vegas. Who in Vegas? I didn't get any names. But I think if you really pushed it, you might be able to. That's it, Cruz. I've got to catch that flight. Oh, okay, Ray. Uh, Vegas. Thanks. Appreciate it. Nice to meet you, Mrs. Castillo. Oh, yes. Listen, uh, one more thing, Mr. Armstrong. Ray. Oh, Ray. <laughs> this statue on Mr. Barr's desk? On Dean. Yeah, do you know if it means anything special to him? No. It's always been there. But he's never said anything about it. Sorry. Thanks. 